Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing a pretty popular extension nail set I found on Amazon. This is a kit that will allow you to have extensions on your nails with just this gel application that has like a glue bonding material as well in it, I believe. And it's supposed to make the process faster as well as friendlier for your nails. So here is what the kit contains. First, there is a glue gel bonding agent that will help adhere the tips to the natural nails. And then there comes with 10 sizes for an almond shaped based extension. You have the acrylic clippers, which are really helpful if you wanna go down in length. For the extensions you have this super cute mini nail led lamp if you don't already have one this one will be great to use and then there is a mini little buffer not so mini but <laughs> and then there is a nail file so i'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my natural nails I went ahead and buffed my nails a bit more off camera just to make sure all the shine is taken away and I'm gonna go ahead and clip my cuticles. I do have professional nail clippers, however, I just bought these from the dollar store. So I'm gonna see if they actually do work. If not, then I'm going to go ahead and pull out my professional ones. They kind of do. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my cuticles off camera so it's a bit easier. Now that my nails look very ratchet um, and the cuticles are cut, I think it is time to dehydrate and then have the extensions put on. I'm going to go ahead and dehydrate. I'm using a prep solution that just goes ahead and takes away all the shine after buffering to help the glue adhere the best. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the extension process. Just for reference, it's easy to tell the number size of your finger nail when there are specific numbers at the very tip so for example when i'm fitting i'm making sure the side wall is sealed on both sides and if i firmly press down it'll still be secured so that's how i know my thumb is a size number one just for reference um, my thumb is a one my pointer is a size seven then my middle finger as well as my ring finger are a size 5 and then my little pinky is a 9. I would try to do a thin layer and not go all the way up to the tip of the nail just because when you put the extension on it will probably spread out like so. This is what the nail looks like. It is pretty firm. It's very strong holding and you just want to make sure you don't get a lot of air bubbles. These marks are from me like pinching the sides to make sure it's fully sealed. But this came out really nicely and I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the nails. The only one that had air bubbles is the ring finger, but everything else was fully flushed. So it turned out really great. I'm going to clip them down and file them to a little bit of a shorter length and then I will be back for the final shape results.
here is the overall shape. I really like it and I was gonna go for the almond shape that was initially like given in the tips but it is near the 4th of July so I wanted some coffin so I can add some glitter underneath the tips and I just really like the shape. So I will come back with the finished look. I use the IBD base coat, the Madame Glam Soak Off Gels and Florida Vibes because 4th of July vibes and the um, white top coat. I think this is a really great investment. I've seen a lot of kits similar to these for ranging over a hundred dollars and I feel them very firm, very sturdy and they're quite thin so they give more of a natural look. I personally really like this and I know I'll continue using the kit in the future. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below and I will try to answer them. And thank you for watching.